So by default, your visitors only see the last published date. But today, I'll help you also add the last updated date here so that your visitors know that this is updated content. So come to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, then add new. Then search for a free plugin called WP Code. This will let you add custom code snippets to your site that will show your visitors the last updated date. Okay, so install and activate the plugin. For non-technical users feeling a bit alarmed at the mention of adding code, don't worry. We'll literally just be copy pasting some lines. It's very simple. Now, before I show you how to add a code snippet, the fact is that adding plugins and custom code can slow down your site. So first we need to make sure that your site is not in danger of getting slowed down. It will take just a few seconds. Open another tab and type Google PageSpeed. Now click on PageSpeed Insights. This is a free page by Google to check if your website is loading too slowly and driving away visitors. So go back to your website, copy the URL and come back and paste it here. Then click analyze. Now you can see that this site score is quite low because a decent score looks like this. It's in the 90s and the other numbers are also green and not red like we can see here. This is normal because as we add more content, plugins and other things, our site slows down. But don't worry, we can just install a free speed plugin to keep our site fast no matter what we add to it. So we will go to another tab, type airlift.net and this website will open. Yes, that is my face because my team built this, but don't worry, it is 100% free and we've built successful plugins before. So you can trust when I say that this is the best free speed increaser in the market. So click sign up, add your email. Now paste your website URL here and click here. Now download the plugin by clicking here. You can see a zip file has been downloaded. Then go back to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, then add new, then drag and drop this folder. Install the plugin and then activate it. Now your site is automatically being optimized and here you can see a big jump in your site speed. If you go back to your page speed insights and analyze again, you'll now see the improved score. Now we have the mental piece that no matter which plugins or custom code snippets we add, our website is not going to slow down. So let's get back to our tutorial. Let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Now go to code snippets and add snippet. Just search for display the last updated date and it will show up like this. Then click use snippet. And now you can scroll and you can see that some lines of code have been created. Okay, now that we have the custom code, it's time to decide where to add it. So we'll select auto insert here. Now there are some other customizations here, but we don't need them right now. Then make this active and click update. Now let's go to our website. Here is the post we saw earlier. You can't see the last updated date here because we haven't edited it yet. So click on edit here. Now I'll just add some lines of text here and then I'll click update. Now let's go to our post page and you can see that the last updated date is here. Okay, the font looks a bit outdated and not really aesthetic, but don't worry, we can change that. Let's just come back to our WordPress dashboard. Go to add snippet, then go custom. Give this a title like, um, custom CSS for updated date and select the CSS snippet. Now I've pasted this snippet here, which I've also added in the description below and you can just copy paste it from there as well. Then make this active and click save snippet. Then go back to your post, refresh the page and now you can see that the font looks a bit better here. You can also further modify this, just go to this site and here type something like this. And now we'll get a bunch of options to choose from. I'll open this one, then copy the code like this. Come back to your WordPress dashboard, go to the snippet we created before, then paste the new snippet. Make sure it's active, click save, then go back to our post, refresh it, and you'll see that it looks very different now. So you can get any type of font and style you want here. And here's another video you should definitely check out next.